HD Smartcast. You're listening to a Hindustan Times production brought to you by HD Smartcast. Hello. These are the top news for the day. A five-judge constitution bench of the Supreme Court will pronounce on January 2nd its verdict on nearly three dozen petitions on the government's 2016 notification to ban currency notes of 500 rupees and 1,000 rupees. The bench reserved its verdict on December 7th after hearing elaborate arguments from the government and the petitioners who have contended that the demonetization decision was arbitrary, unconstitutional and contrary to the powers and procedure prescribed under the Reserve Bank of India Act. Delhi Lieutenant Governor V.K. Saxena Sunday expressed shock at the monstrous insensitivity of the perpetrators who, suspected to be under the influence of alcohol, hit a woman on her scooty and dragged her for nearly seven kilometers in Delhi's Sultanpuri. Saxena said he has been monitoring the case and that all aspects of the case were being thoroughly looked into. My head hangs in shame over the inhuman crime in Kanchawla Sultanpuri today morning and I am shocked at the monstrous insensitivity of the perpetrators. Have been monitoring with that CP Delhi and the accused have been apprehended. All aspects are being thoroughly looked into, he tweeted. Population should not be the only criterion in delimiting constituencies, Assam Chief Minister Himantar Biswa Sharma said on Sunday, as the state underwent a delimitation exercise of parliamentary and assembly seats based on the 2001 census. As per the current law, population is the basis for delimitation but some communities have abided by population control policy, while others have not. But those who have violated the policy are being rewarded and those who abided by it are being punished, he said. For now, the state will not challenge the criteria but will suggest the center consider factors besides population while delimiting constituencies, he said. Ten guards and four inmates were killed early Sunday when gunmen in armored vehicles attacked a state prison in Ciudadwaras across the border from El Paso, Texas, according to state officials. The Chihuahua State Prosecutor's Office said in a statement that around 7 a.m. various armored vehicles arrived at the prison and gunmen opened fire on guards. In addition to those killed, 13 people were wounded and at least 24 inmates escaped. Any New Year's resolution by Tottenham to stop conceding the first goal lasted less than one day as Aston Villa continued its revival under Una e. Emery with a 2-0 away win in the Premier League on Sunday. Antonio Conte's side has now conceded first in its last 10 matches, with Tottenham fifth in the standings following its latest disappointment. Actor Ali Abhat recently talked about her life decisions as she reflected upon 2022. In an interview, she said she lets her heart decide things in life, including work and private life. She said she has never been happier in her life and added that she will never regret her decision of having daughter Raha Kapoor during the peak of her career in Bollywood. Alia and Ranbir Kapoor married on April 14, 2022 after dating for some years. After two months of their marriage, Alia announced that they were all set to embrace parenthood. In November, Alia announced the birth of daughter Raha, and shared via her Instagram post. You were listening to the HD Daily News Wrap, a beta production brought to you by HD Smartcast. Please give us feedback on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at HD Smartcast or via email to podcasts at hindustantimes.com. Until next time. This was a Hindustan Times production brought to you by HD Smartcast. HD Smartcast